Hey YouTube, Ryan here from 45 Drives with another tech tip with my favorite product of the Stroinator, the green one behind me. And today I'm here to talk about batching and kill disc and how it can help optimize your workflow. Batching and kill this is a great way to optimize your workflow by organizing your drive bays into groups. Those groups can be predetermined by the types of drives you plan to use or the action you wish Killdisk to perform on these drives. The great thing about batching is you have complete freedom by adding and removing drive bays at any time pre or post creation of these batches. From our experience, our customers use batching to segment customer orders, meaning they could have one batch for customer A and another batch for customer B running simultaneously as long as they have enough disk bays in their systems. So how do you go ahead and create these batches? Let's hop in and walk you through a how-to. So here we are in the Kill Disk software. The first spot to go when we want to create a batch is just go up to Edit and click New Batch. This will launch the Create a Dispatch wizard. And the first thing you want to do under general options is to name your batch. Typically, uh, we like to name this something to do with the, perform with the action you want performed on the drives that you're going to add to the batch, or perhaps a customer order number. For this example, we'll just go with demo batch. And for the color that you're able to assign disk bays to, to know that they are part of your batch, let's go with our classic Destroyinator green. Next, it would go through what type of batch you want to use. Uh, most commonly, erase batch is the one that we see used the most popular. So for this example, we'll select that one. Next, next disk examination part. Uh, this part's particularly important if you plan to reuse these drives after wiping. Um, you want to be careful and make sure you select partial examination, especially if you're using larger 8, 10, 12 terabyte hard drives because that will greatly slow down the process of your batch. Uh, if you're not re planning to reuse the hard drives uh, that you want to wipe, uh, this part can be ignored. Next, we'll select what type of disk erase method we want to use. Uh, in the drop-down list, you'll see all the predefined uh, wiping methods that Kildis has built into it, um, as well as the option to do a user-defined custom wiping method. From our experience, the most popular two protocols are the NIS 888, as well as the U.S. Department of Defense. For this example, we'll go with just NIS 888 and one pass random. The next page would be the erase certificate page. So in here you can select what information you may want to include or remove from the erase certificates that will be created from your batch. Next would be the processing report, which like the erase certificate, you can select what information you may want to include or remove, as well as the default location of where these will be saved. You can also change that at any time prior to a batch or a single wipe in the preference tab of the Kill This software. Next would be the company, company information page where you can customize with your own logo and business name. Um, in this example, let's go through here and just put our classic 45 drives fan cutout logo to our erase certificates here if I can find it. So we'll just add 45 drives as the business name and license to. We'll put down our address and telephone number and move on to the next page. Next, for the technician information uh, for operator name, you can simply put your own as the user. So for this example, I'll put Ryan Power. Disk cloning, uh, this is an option that can be used and selected. Uh, we may touch on this in a future tech tip video, um, but for this uh, example, we won't use it. And that's it. Your batch has been created, the wizard completed successfully, and if you were to go and click the Run Batch button, you will see our demo batch there grayed out. That's simply due to the fact that no hard drives are inserted right now, so let's get to that. So the way we would go about assigning any disk bays would be right-clicking them, selecting Assign Bays to, and selecting our demo batch that we just created. And as you can see, the disk bay now appears in the green coloring that we selected at the very start of the Create a Dispatch Wizard. So now that we have 10 disk bays assigned to our demo batch, 
and have them all populated with eight terabyte hard drives, we are able to now go up to the run the batch button, select our demo batch that we previously created, and kill this will now give us one last chance to make sure all the predefined settings that we did during the creation of the batch are the correct settings we want to run. So if there's ever a circumstance where you may want it to change one or two settings for a particular one-off batch, this is your last chance to do it before clicking the start button and typing in the key phrase to allow the security race to start. So once you have a successful run of your batch and you want to detach any of the bays, simply right click them and click and select detach bays. That will remove the green coloring and it is now free to be added to a secondary batch. So there you have it folks. Batching and kill this can really help optimize your workflow by predefining drive bays and erase standards, as well as organizing custom and customer orders into simple batches. We do have an article on our knowledge base that helps you walk through this process, but if you need any one-on-one -on -one assistance, please reach out and we'd be happy to assist. So see you next time and keep on wiping.